All right, come over here. We're going to go back to our inputs and go to robot inputs. And we can see or change from inputs to outputs. We'll see that right here. And now I can come over here and hit shift and then forward. What I'm going to do is hit step first so that we can step into it. I'm going to step. So this one right here, you'll see that closes. It's going to wait two seconds. Wait two seconds and then it's going to go to the next one and then we're going to open. So that's as simple as that is. So if we want to actually run this, we can actually run it. We can actually see what it does. So it's actually, it closes it and then it waits two seconds and then opens it. Now that's a simple macro, simple way to program the output. You can see the output actually coming on right here. Uh, but that's just a, a simple way to create a macro to control an out with an, an, an output of a, a FANUC robot, right? So, and this is basically done off of Teach Pendant. So I just wanted to show you again, you know, kind of add some clarity because again, when it comes down to it, we're all kind of learning in the world of automation. And when it comes down to it, the more we can share, the more we grow, the more we all get better. So I feel like when it comes down to simple things like this, uh, the more we kind of inch through it and actually understand, the better we all get. So uh, as we continue to grow with this, we'll continue to actually show more and more. All right, so in this simple example of a robot, what we're going to talk about doing is uh, controlling the robot outputs um, as far as like the gripper uh, close. I have a comment right here that says gripper close. Um, we can actually see if I simulate that, you can actually see the gripper actually close. Now what we're going to do in this video was we're going to write a macro for that. So in, in the second window over here, I'm going to come over here to select and then I'm going to go to type and then go to macros and then go up here and then create. And then I'm going to use the keypad, keypad which is right here and I'm going to put, uh, we'll call this gripper underscore close and hit exit. At this point, uh, you can come in here and hit details and just make sure it's a macro right here. This is where you can actually change that to a macro or whatever you want to. Um, generally speaking, again, if you wanna have coordinated motion inside of it or whatever the case may be for that macro. Um, but again, uh, this is just a macro, so that's all we're gonna do. And uh, we'll come in here and choose macro again and this time we're going to put a comment in here and we'll use the keypad again and we'll say uh, closes gripper now this is just a comment so but that's just another way to do that right and then we'll end that so now uh, we uh, we have coordinated motion we can do right here with, with points and touch point touch ups and stuff like that if we wanted to to move the robot However, if we come over here to the next thing we can do is come over here and we can add, um, we're going to insert. So we're going to actually insert um, a number of lines and then we'll just say uh, three lines. So we'll just put that in there and then we're going to come over here to uh, instructions and then we're going to go miscellaneous and then we'll do remark and then come over here and kind of give it something to uh, as far as something to put in there you know you can you can type in your comments or whatever the case may be um, again you can put in a remark right here so um, for that matter let's go ahead and uh, basically come in and do our instructions so we all we want to do if 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 all we want to do is actually open the gripper then we come over here to robot and what we'll do is do let's see robot output right here and then we'll choose the robot output so we'll choose the robot output one and then hit enter and then we'll say on so in this case now uh, now you can't run uh, we, we can't actually test this without swapping it to the main menu or the main window over here um, so just keep in mind it's off right now and so what we'll do is what we'll We'll come over here and, and actually come over and we'll actually put another. Yeah, let's go ahead and add some more, uh, just a few more 
uh, lines in here and let's come over here to the next one and let's just say this one would be a weight and equivalent to seconds and then we'll say uh, right here we'll put two so two seconds and then what we'll do is we'll we'll open the gripper again okay so what we'll do at this point is we'll come over here and insert go over here and then we'll do robot output and then we'll pick one again at this point we want to say off actually robot one oh let's put that right here enter that in and we'll say robot one off so what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on uh, the gripper we're going to close it or and then we're going to wait two seconds and then we're going to actually close it so what we'll do here is we'll come back in and change this i'll actually change the order of operations so that this is over in the main uh, window i'll show you right quick where you you can actually run this you cannot actually run this because it's not in the main window so uh, in efforts to do so we're going to come over here click on the main window we're going to go over to select and we're going to go to our gripper close we're going to open that up we're going to come over here we're going to go back to our inputs and go to robot inputs and we can see or change from inputs to outputs we'll see that right here and now i can come over here and hit shift and then forward what i'm going to do is hit step first so that we can step into it i'm going to step so this one right here you'll see that closes it's going to wait two seconds wait two seconds and then it's going to go to the next one and then we're going to open so that's as simple as that is so if we want to actually run this we can actually run it we can actually see what it does so it's actually it closes it and then it waits two seconds and then opens it now that's a simple macro simple way to program the output you can see the output actually coming on right here uh, but that's just a, a simple way to create a macro to control an out with an an, an output of a, a fanic robot right so and this basically done off the of teach pendant so i just wanted to show you again you know kind of add some clarity because again when it comes down to it we're all kind of learning in the world of automation and when it comes down to it the more we can share the more we grow the more we all get better so i feel like when it comes down to simple things like this uh, the more we kind of inch through it and actually understand the better we all get so uh, as we continue to grow with this we'll continue to actually show more and more but uh, again this is just how to do a simple macro inside of a fanic robot program um, and basically going directly off making the type changing the, like looking at the types right here and you can come over here and it changed to all or, and that will show everything in your robot all the programs or you can just look at macros so that's just one another way to actually navigate through that so hopefully you learned a lot on that video and we'll see you guys on the next one